Hello ladies and welcome back to a new video. I'm Urania and on this channel we focus on femininity, self-improvement and on becoming the best version of ourselves. In today's video we're going to talk about the very popular Netflix documentary called The Tinder Swindler. And in specific we're going to look at some dating lessons or some dating mistakes that we can learn from. Ladies, that being said, let's get straight into today's video. Netflix recently released a new documentary called The Tinder Swindler. And it's about a man named Simon who meets women on Tinder and then he deceives them into sending him large amounts of money. So first of all, my opinion on the documentary is that I think it was very well done. First of all, I thought, you know what, let's just see what the bus is all about because I saw it all over social media and I was watching it on a Sunday afternoon, just relaxing. But I have to admit that I was on the edge of my seat several times throughout the documentary. And the documentary is about two hours long. On top of that, I think that this is such a relevant topic in today's day and age because more and more people are meeting their partner or meeting their dates online through dating app. And on this channel, we talk about dating quite often as well. And that's why I thought the Tinder Swindler would be a good topic for us to talk about. So let's get into the lessons that we can learn from the Tinder Swindler. Number one, take your time to get to know your dates. One of the things that really stood out for me was how fast things went, the timeline. One of the ladies matched with him on Tinder, they met the same day, and they went on a private jet together to another country, all in one day. So that is going to be lesson number one. There is no need to rush. Take your time to get to know someone. Because at the end of the day, this is still a complete stranger, no matter how good and how comfortable the person is making you feel. And when someone is asking you on the very first date to go with them on their private chat, the best thing to do is to kindly decline and take your time to get to know someone. Because what you're doing by accepting this is putting yourself in a very vulnerable and even very dangerous situation. And that's not worth it. Lesson number two, watch out for love bombing. We actually talk about love bombing in the video that I made last year about first date red flags definitely make sure to have a look at that video. Love bombing is a tactic often used by gaslighters or narcissists to quickly get you into a relationship. They shower you with gifts, compliments, attention, and many promises are made. Love bombing is a form of manipulation and emotional abuse. And this can make the person being love bombed vulnerable and likely to get hurt. Lesson number three. Actions speak louder than words. Someone can tell you that they love you, they want to marry you, and you're the love of their life. But if their words don't match their actions, then those words mean absolutely nothing. And how you can see that in the documentary is that Simon is telling these women that he loves them and he wants to marry them, sees a family together with them. But at the same time, the same person that is telling them that they love them is putting them in very uncomfortable, unsafe situations. Someone that loves you is not going to put you in an unsafe situation. That's not love. Let's go to the point where everything became a disaster. The point where his enemies were after him and he asked the women for money. Lesson number four, do not collect a loan on behalf of someone else. And this is where the problem started. The moment the women received the message with send me money, my enemies are after me. Some sent their life savings, some maxed out their credit cards, and others took out loans. This is such a big no-go, as taking out a loan on behalf of someone else, especially when the person cannot pay you back, what happened in the documentary, can affect you in a very negative way. It can destroy your credit score. It can affect you buying a house or buying a car. And on top of this, it can affect your mental health what it did with some of the women in the documentary. Lesson number five, don't share your personal details. You want to be very careful with the details, the personal details you share about yourself online, especially personal details that scammers can use, such as your full name, your full date of birth, or your home address. I suggest to not share information like that until the moment that your relationship becomes serious. 
one of the ladies did send her passport detail over to Simon, the guy, and she also shared the telephone number of her mother. And what happened is that the moment she could not send him money anymore or wanted to end things, he was even harassing her mother. And that's why personal information like that about your family, about yourself, you want to keep that to yourself until things become serious. Lesson number six, looks can be deceiving. And the way that he was portraying himself and making it quite believable was that he was showing himself off like a billionaire and being the son of a diamond mogul. His Instagram was full of pictures with him in private jets, luxury cars, his clothes were head to toe designer, everything about him was flashy and blingy. Simon was able to sweep these women off their feet with his very lavish lifestyle and all the expensive things that he had around him, such as his entourage, the private jet, the clothes, the holidays. But he ended up having nothing. All of this was financed by other people. What we can learn from this is that looks can be deceiving. This man who was acting as this busy and wealthy businessman was actually nothing like that at all. The really wealthy people often don't dress from head to toe in designer items. Yes, they might wear a really nice watch, and you can see that their shoes are of good quality, but they are not dripping in clothes with big designer logos from head to toe. Lesson number seven, watch out for men who are too much in their feminine energy. When it comes to this documentary, you could see that Simon was showing two very strong feminine traits. The first one was being asking for help and literally being the damsel in distress. Simon needed to be saved and he was literally playing the damsel in distress. He needed to be saved and the women came there to save him. So the second one is his appearance. You could definitely see that he was quite vain and his looks were very important to him. He would dress from head to toe in big designer logos. And when you are a feminine woman, you want to ask yourself the question, is this a trait that I am looking for in a man, in a masculine man? And we're not going to forget that obviously both men and women have feminine and masculine traits. And when I was looking at the pictures that they showed in the documentary, you could definitely see that he was the diamond in the relationship. He was the one that wanted all the attention and basically all eyes on him. In my opinion, that is more the position of the woman in the relationship, right? All eyes on her. She's the one that always looks pretty, head to toe, looking amazing. Um, I find it more a feminine trait than a masculine trait. And for me, that would definitely be something that I would be aware of. Lesson number eight, trust needs to be earned. We cannot expect that every person that we meet and that cross our path has good intentions. The women easily and very quickly trusted him and they trusted him so much that they would transfer their life savings, they would max out their credit cards and they would take out a loan for him. Why? Because they trusted him. Especially in the beginning of getting to know someone, you want to keep your guards up. You need to protect yourself. You cannot just trust everything that someone tells you. And the way that someone wins your trust is when their words match their actions. On top of that, it takes time. Take your time to get to know someone. And that combination is going to help you to build trust. Lesson number nine. Always do a background check. The ladies in the documentary did do a background check on him. So they did search online if they can find him. And they did find the family and they did find his company. However, if they searched a little bit further, they would have found that the diamond mogul that Simon claimed to be his father did not have a son with the name of Simon. The other thing that they could have done is to do a reverse image check because one of the pictures that he used was actually photoshopped. He photoshopped himself into the picture next to the man that he claimed to be his father. So the thing that we can learn from this is to always do a really good background check on someone. And we all have that one friend that literally is a detective. When it comes to this and you have this gut feeling that something might be off, ask this friend to help you with the research. Two people can find more than one. Lesson number 10, don't ignore the red flags. 
when dating someone new, you don't want to ignore the red flags, especially in the beginning. By ignoring the red flags, that fairy tale that you are in can literally change into a nightmare, just like what happened with the women in the documentary. And when it came to the Tinder swindler, there were so many red flags. You really have to be honest with yourself. And sometimes when something seems too good to be true, it is too good to be true. There are a couple of questions that the ladies could have asked themselves. Let's look at a couple of these questions. What is the son of a billionaire doing on Tinder? Of all the people he can ask for money, he is asking me. Why? Who are these enemies he is talking about? And why is he running away from them? He tells me he loves me, but how well does he really know me? And what actually about me does he love? In this stage of the relationship, you need to be honest with yourself and ask yourself the questions that you actually want to ignore. As mentioned, not everyone that comes into your life has good intentions. So you need to be alert and you need to keep your guard up. And always be honest with yourself, ladies. If something feels too good to be true, often it's too good to be true. Number 11, trust your instinct. When something isn't right, at one point you're going to feel that feeling inside of you. That's what we call that gut feeling. You don't want to ignore this feeling, even though you don't have any evidence for it. When your gut is telling you something, you actually want to trust it. At least be more alert. Our gut feeling or our instinct is actually a really powerful feminine trait. And in one of the videos about feminine energy, we talk about this even more. I will make sure to link that video on the screen. And ladies, now I would love to hear from you. What are the lessons that you got from this documentary? And tell me what you thought about the documentary as well. Did you watch it already? And how, how did you like it? Please let me know in the comment section below. And we came to the end of today's video. I hope that you found it informative and that you found it entertaining. If you did, definitely give the video a thumbs up. If you did not watch the documentary yet, I highly recommend that you watch it. Ladies, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in next week's video and I'm wishing you a very lovely week. Bye ladies.